Hello, welcome. My name is Manuel. Today we're going to learn how to create a subdomain inside of Hostinga. Okay, there are two instances or reasons why you should create a subdomain for your website. So, for instance, you have a website that have the home about us contact us inside of it, and you want to create a blog page or a blog website that have these same pages in it. So having this same blog page inside of the main instance of this website or installation of this website will be a little bit confusing for visitors to understand which particular home they are going to, which about us they are going to, and which contact us they are going to. So having multiple contact us or multiple about us in one website doesn't make much sense. So that gives rise to creating a subdomain. When you create a new subdomain for that blog, it will be blog catagraphics.com okay so that would be a different installation of wordpress on its own now coming to the second reason why i would advise you to create a subdomain is if you are a freelancer and you design multiple websites or have multiple designs for multiple clients and you don't want all of these to be sampled or assembled in your website but you want to have a kind of preview in your website and have it linked to a kind of demo site where they are going to see how this website actually operates so creating multiple pages too for instance you want to create about 100 pages for 100 website samples okay so you can create separate subdomain for each and every one of this kind of website because these websites are going to be in different niches okay creating this different subdomain for different the, the different websites will give you the leverage to create different pages for these same instances so you can have like seven pages in one instance seven page in the next instance and so on and so forth so you can create multiple website types and then use that as a sample in just one of your website a subdomain is not a separate domain or you don't purchase subdomains for free and in hosting guy you get about 100 subdomain okay 100 subdomain ability to create about 100 subdomain and this subdomain come with their email custom email with them if you want to have a custom email separately for that those uh, subdomain okay and also the hosting that platform provides you free ssl for these subdomains okay so you get free ssl for the subdomain free, free cloudflare for these subdomains too and uh, there are a lot more features why i love the hosting platform for the easiness how easy it is for my clients to actually when i do handover they actually find their way around to do most basic things Okay, so without wasting much of our time, we're going to dive in and start creating our first subdomain. Okay, so for this instance, I'll be creating a subdomain for Catagraphics Academy, the Academy page uh, website where we are going to be hosting all the students' uh, dashboards, the students' uh, 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 courses, and also we are planning to extend this to also host other person's courses in our platform. So doing that in our main website will be a little buggy and too much of information we want to only promote our website in our main website our, our courses in our main website then have it shared in our marketplace so this particular subdomain we are creating will be like a marketplace where other users can also come and host their courses uh and also we also have our courses listed there too so first thing what we're gonna do I'm assuming you have a, a domain already and a hosting plan already, but if you don't, use the link in the description of this video below in this video. And by the way, click a thumbs up to give me a support and also subscribe if you have not subscribed to this channel. Okay, so you are not, you don't have a subdomain, a domain yet. You can use the link in the description. And also when you purchase with the link in the description, I get a little commission for purchasing with my link and um, you get support to my support team. I will have a second link to my telegram channel okay or to my telegram group where you can get technical support in case you run into issues in your hosting instead of contacting their customer service though their customer service are super fast but you get to get that support from me in the group okay so we are going to create we are assuming we have a domain already so we're going to create a subdomain with the one we already have so first of all you notice you get the premium hosting and also your domain under here the domain is not what we are working with we are working with the hosting or the domain that are associated with the hosting which means you can have multiple domain but decide not to associate with, the, with this hosting you can have this domain and associate with another hosting from another platform okay so these are domains we are associated with this particular hosting account okay so click on it if you have multiple domain you are going to see this particular uh, button to click and see to click on those multiple domains so we click on the Catagraphics design academy which is the one we want to work with the next thing we are going to do is to head over to the left corner where we're going to see domain click on it and click on sub domain so here we're going to create our subdomain name we are going to call these courses 
dot catagraphics.com that's the extension okay you can enable this for custom folders if you want this to be specifically if you want this to look like a totally different website in your domain you can do this but if you want it to be listed on the catagraphics academy you can disable this okay i would like you to disable this it's not necessary to enable that so create your subdomain so this is the first stage and as you can see the subdomain is created successfully it can link us to here if it doesn't link you to here you can head over and click on dashboard at the left uh, control panel so now we are here one thing we need to do next is to now create or install wordpress in this subdomain because first thing is to have a domain is just as if we are we just purchased the domain wordpress doesn't come with it okay so installing wordpress enable you to what start designing your website so now we are going to install wordpress inside of this instance of our website so what we are going to do here is click on the wordpress dashboard by the right corner so fine now we are in the wordpress dashboard careful okay careful what you're going to do is to click on the top level yeah and select on the subdomain you want to work on so when we select on this you notice that this particular platform changes because we don't have wordpress installed already so what we need to do is to hit on install wordpress and we put the website name as we want it to be we can call this graphics courses Okay. Now the, the uh, email, we can put whatever email we want. I want to use the custom email we created for this uh, domain name. Okay. Info at catagraphicsacademy.com. So this is the email we want. And um, we can leave this as so and also create a strong password if you want. I've already created my password, so that's why it appeared there. Now, here is where you're going to be a little more careful about. When I started this, I made a lot of mistakes. I, 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 I installed a new instance of WordPress inside of my old WordPress account, okay? Instead of the website I've already built. And um, I was lucky enough that Hostinger backed up my instances and I have to restore that. But to avoid that issue, make sure you click on this and select on courses. Okay, the one, the subdomain you created, select on that, click on HTTPS and enable the uh, S. Okay, S stands for the security SSS certificate. Like I talked about, they provide you free SSS certificate for any amount of subdomain you created. So enable that, click on SSL and leave this as it is. Leave this as it is and proceed with the rest of the things. Click on next. Here you can turn this off so that you can manually update your plugins which is designing the website. So click on install. So we're gonna wait a little more moments and the WordPress is installing. After it's done installing, we will need to activate the SSL certificate. It's installed, but we need to activate the SSL certificate, okay? Now, in most cases, the SSL certificate is activated for you automatically. Okay, automatically SSL certificate is activated for you. You don't need to do much in that. As you can see, it's activated for us. So all you need to do is to disable this. I always advise you to disable the light speed catch. Very necessary when you are building. When you are done building, you can enable it again. But if it's not activated, you're gonna see a yellow button. Click on that, activate yellow button and select on the subdomain, then activate. We are done installing our subdomain. We can now start edit our website so to edit your website click on edit website at the right corner so just wait a minute and you'll be logged into your wordpress so next time if you log out of your wordpress next time you want to log in you can still use your password or still go through the same processes okay so as you can see everything is fine from here you can start installing our plugin you can get in and start doing some of the editing that we need to do you can see everything is fine from here. This is the HTTPS. You need to actually go into settings and set this SSL. Everything is perfectly fine here. If it's not, click on this and enable the S. Type in S here and type in S here. So guys, that is how to create a subdomain inside of uh, Hostinger. Okay, perfect. And uh, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Okay, and also subscribe if you have not. More tutorials like this will be coming up in the coming week. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the week. Have a wonderful day.